Welcome back to Alan's Trains. In this video, we will take the SVG and PNG files that we extracted from our PDF and upload them directly into the Design Space software for the Crycut Maker 3 cutting machine. The first thing we need to do is to open the Design Space software that comes with the cutting machine. In the top right hand corner, press New Project. This will open Design Space. On the left hand side, press the Upload button. On the left upper, you will see Upload Image. Press that. We will browse rather than drag and drop. So I can show you the PNG file and the SVG file that we saved from the previous video. Select Brick Paper. You will now be asked whether you want a simple, moderately complex, or complex. We'll use complex, it gives a better finish. In the bottom right, press continue. You will now see the image. Press apply and continue. On this screen, select print then cut image and upload. This will take it to the far left side where it says recent uploads. Ignore all others. Highlight it and then on the bottom right, press the Add to Canvas button. This will take it into Design Space. Now this size is not correct because you must alter it to suit what Inkscape size was. So we'll upload the next component, upload image, browse, then open the cutting instruction. It will say text elements are included, import anyway. So press continue. Then in the bottom right hand corner, press upload. You will now see it on the far left again, highlight it and add to canvas. You will now see that the Inkscape size, which you would have checked is 12.75 by 6.79. We must alter the brick paper to those sizes so you can see the difference between the two. So we'll change the width to 12.75 and if it's locked it should alter the height but we'll check the height 6.795 it says 6.8 close enough. What we now must do is to take the cutting instruction place it on top not actually critical at this time. Then we need to go to the far right hand side, go to the top of the list and you will see cutting. On the second down it says cutting with a little eye on the right. This will remove the grey colour that's within the cutting instruction and will reveal the cutting parts. We can now align it a little bit better to suit the actual Brick paper. Again, not really critical at this time. Then press select all, which it will select. Now the next point is critical. You must go to the bottom right hand side and press on this icon, which says attach. And what it will do, it will attach both parts together. We now go to the top right and press make it. Looking at the image, you can see a large black line right around. What this does, this allows the machine to align itself to the drawing. It's what the scanner uses to position everything. We now press continue. And as you can see, you must have the machine turned on and it will send to the printer. And this will be the printer of your choice. We then select the print. And once printed, this is what you'll see. You must position the paper on the mat. I've used a light grip mat, which is a blue. And as you can see, the black line, as we said, is there to guide the machine. Once you get to this part of the project, you must now follow the instruction on screen, which says load the mat and press load and unload button. 
So let's load the map first. At this point, you can see the load light is flashing. That's the arrow up and arrow down. Press the button and it will load the print into the machine. The machine will measure the mat. It will then give you the flashing right light. So we then press that and it will now scan the actual print. And as you can see, it is moving its way around the print to make sure that the machine is aligned with the actual print. Once completed, it will then check its calibration After it has checked, it will then start to do the cuts. And as you can see, it's fairly quick with the cutting. The preparation takes more time than the actual cut itself. Once the cut is complete, the arrow will flash for up and down, which means that you can remove from the machine. Press the button and out comes the cut. We can now remove the mat or we can remove the excess material. It is now a simple task to carefully remove the print from the mat. There are little tools that you can use for that if it becomes too sticky. But as you can see there is the finished article. Well, I certainly hope that helps and I hope it was made simple enough. In the next video, I'm going to do a review of the cutting machine and I've been using it now for about 15, 16 months. And some of the things that I will show is how to calibrate the machine if it doesn't cut quite accurately enough. Hope to see you then and thanks for watching Alan's Trains. Bye for now.